Hey guys, what's up? Manchi here and just wanted to do a small video about the AB slots on the Moto X4. So here's the list of partitions which we get from the factory. Now, as you can see that you have A and B slots, but the important thing to note here is that Motorola did not populate the B slots. So in preparation for custom ASOP ROMs, the first thing we need to do is populate the B slots with the content of A slots, right? So we have a script for that and that is in my video tutorial on how to install Lineage OS on the Moto X4. Once you have populated the B slots using the script, the next step is to install Twerp recovery on your Moto X4. Now I have already done these two steps in preparation of this video. So I have already populated the B slots and I have already installed Twerp on my Moto X4. So as you can see here, right now I am in the stock ROM. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and boot into Twerp recovery and see which slot we are on. Now we are in Twerp recovery and if you go to the reboot option, it will show you the current slot. So as you can see right now, the current slot is A. So what you need to note here is that whenever you install the factory image from Motorola, it's going to get installed on slot A because Motorola decided not to populate the slots B. So the factory image by default installs on slot A and marks slot A as the current slot. So right now I am on stock ROM and my current slot is A. What I'm going to do next is go ahead and install a custom ROM and show you how the slot changes. So we go back to the main menu and the first step in preparation of installing a custom ROM is to go ahead and do a factory reset. So we go to wipe and we do swipe to factory reset. So this is going to factory reset our device. Next, we go back to the main menu again. We click on install and as you can see, I already have carbon ROM copied. So I'll select that and swipe to confirm the flash. So while Carbon ROM is installing, let me give you uh, an overview of how the slots are switched. So in the device tree, we have a package or say a module called boot control. Now this is included for Motorola Moto X4 while building any custom ROM. The next thing is again in the device tree, we define which slots can be swapped right so we tell boot control that these specific slots are available in a and b and that is how boot control knows which slots it can change during installation as you can see here like this is the first thing i was talking about we're including boot control in the device tree and this is the second part i was talking about wherein we're telling that we have a and b slots and these are the slots which can be swapped for a and b so that is how the custom rom knows that the device has A and B slots and that these specific slots can be swapped during the installation. Another thing to note here is that now I was on slot A but Carbon ROM is installing to slot B. It's not installing on slot A, it's installing on slot B because Carbon ROM has the boot control package installed. So now you can see that Carbon ROM was installed successfully. I did forget to install Twerp so I'll go back and select the TWRP installer and swipe to confirm flash. What you'll note here is that TWRP installs on both slots. Now recovery on these devices is part of boot.img or the kernel image. So TWRP by default is intelligent enough to know that we have two slots and it will patch both the slots. Okay, so now TWRP is installed successfully. So we'll go back to the main menu, right? And then we go on reboot and you can see that I'm still on slot A, but do note that the ROM installed on slot B and TWRP installed on both slots. Now if I boot back to recovery, you'll see that my slot has changed to B. So let's go ahead and click on recovery. So we've booted back into TWRP recovery and now if I go to the reboot menu, you'll see that my current slot is set as B. Right now, in order for me to successfully boot into Carbon ROM, I have to do a fast boot hyphen W from the bootloader mode. So I'll go ahead and do that and be back. All right, guys, as you can see, we're now booting back into Carbon ROM and this is being booted from slot B. As you can see, we've successfully booted into Carbon ROM. Now, if I go back into TWRP recovery, I should be on slot B. So now we are back into TWRP recovery and now if I go to reboot, I am on slot B. Now, slot A has the stock ROM and stock B has Carbon ROM. Now, what if I want to install Lineage OS and still retain the stock ROM in slot A? I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. The first step into doing that is you have to copy the Lineage OS ROM and then 
we'll go ahead and change the slot to A and reboot back into recovery and we'll see that the slot is A and now if you flash linear JS, it will flash on slot B which would be on top of carbon ROM. So let me go ahead and copy lineage OS and I'll give you a demo on how to install lineage OS on top of carbon ROM in slot B and keep the stock ROM in slot A. So guys, I just copied over lineage OS and two up again because I did a fast boot hyphen W and my internal memory was wiped. So if I go to the install menu, I'll see lineage and two up both the zip files. Now I go into reboot and my current slot is B. So I select my current slot as A. I need to go ahead and reboot back, back into recovery and that will confirm that I am on slot A. So I go ahead and select recovery. Now I am back into a recovery. If I go to reboot, my current slot is A, which is where my stock ROM is. So I'll go ahead and do a wipe. And now I'll go ahead and do install and select linear OS, add more zips and add the, the two up zip file and swipe to confirm the flash. So now Lineage OS and Twerp both installed successfully. We'll go ahead and click on back, click on back, and we'll go to the reboot menu. And as you can see, I'm on slot A. Now, if I go back and reboot into recovery again, it should change to slot B. Now, if I select reboot, you can see I'm currently on slot B. So I'll go ahead and click and reboot into system. So as you guys can see, we are now booting into Lineage OS, which we just installed and Carbon ROM is overwritten with Lineage OS. We have successfully put it into Lineage OS. Let me go ahead and skip all these things. As you can see, we are on the latest unofficial Lineage OS build. Now, if I go ahead and reboot back into Twerp Recovery, I'll show you how you can go back to stock system because the stock ROM is still installed in slot A. So now I am back into Twerp Recovery and if I go to reboot, my current slot is B. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and change it to A. Now it's changed to A and do a reboot system. So there you hear it now it's it's booting into the stock rom so right now i am dual booting i have the stock rom in slot a and i have lineage os in slot b Hello, Hello. so as you can see right now we are we are boot looping that didn't go very well because we had lineage os in slot b and the stock rom in slot a which was resulting in a in a boot loop because we had booted into lineage os once so what i did was i went into the fast boot mode and did a fast boot hyphen w and now we're trying to boot into stock rom again and this is booting from slot a so let's hope it is successful this time so there it is guys we booted successfully back into the stock rom but you cannot dual boot because you know they have different frameworks and the data is shared among both the slots so that is why we had to do a fast boot hyphen w to wipe everything i hope this video gave you a, a better understanding of how a and b slots work on the moto x4 so if you like the content make sure you share it on social media like the video and subscribe to my channel see you when i see you